Remember to look right here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's a look right there. Got a look right there. I can talk to a person like straight up. I just told her like, yeah, you were born different. That's just who you are. And she owns it. Mm -hmm. I like to do YouTube videos for my fans because I love them, I guess. In her case, like we don't put any fear into her or like explain what progeria is or even say the word uh, progeria. We just treat her like a normal 10 year old. Just try to give her the best life. I'm Adelia and I'm about to be 11, but I'm 10. <laughs> Thank you. She sees herself as being different. There's days when she goes, I wish I had hair, I wish I looked like everybody else. But then she goes and says, who needs hair anyways? I have a bunch of wigs. I like to do makeup, I like to play Barbies, I like to play on my phone, I like, definitely, definitely like to watch videos. I like to play with my brothers. Sometimes I get a little grumpy, so I guess not. But I basically like everything. Unicorns are my favorite, I guess. Because they're pretty, sparkly, pink. What? Your spirit animal is weird too. She said she thinks you're cute. Yeah, I think you're cute, sir. <laughs> that was awkward. That was awkward, she goes. It can be hard some days, especially at night. <sighs> when everybody goes to sleep and, you know, I'm just thinking about the day. Just thankful for another day, I guess. Alali has a rare aging disorder called progeria. Well, her food's ready. <laughs> Daddy already cut it up for you and everything. And it's IHOP too. Let me go. Everybody makes progerin. It's what makes you age. It's IHOP, girl. And she just makes a lot of it. So that's what makes her age faster. Other Barbies like this one. I like her. I think this is Colorist Barbie. I don't know. My cousin's Barbie. I don't know. Give me the backpack. We don't talk about life expectancy or uh, any possibility of this could happen or that could happen to her. I mean, we just live day by day. I mean, anything can happen and to anyone, right? Exactly, yeah. It's tomorrow. What? The days are going so by, like, fast. I'm very excited. I can't wait to open my present. Well, in the beginning, when we first started her Facebook, it was just for, you know, giggles. It was surprising how fast it grew. She has like 14 million people on her Facebook and all her subscribers on YouTube. We like to puppy and we like to dance. We like to dance. <laughs> I definitely think it's fair to describe uh, Adalia as a diva. Oh, shit. People have been asking is about Adalia's eye. So the story about that 
is that. Stop. I love it like that. She's very self conscious about it, but. So, surfer's eye, it basically like scar tissue forming. I basically. Um, yeah, I'm her puppet. Oh, yeah, he's <laughs> <laughs> oh! Having a uh, social media superstar 11 year old. It's crazy, especially when we're, we're out in public, you know? A lot of people recognize her. What do you think? They say good things to her all the time. They love all your videos. There's constant comments of how she's inspirational and how she doesn't let anything stop her. And Every time she hears those things, it makes her really happy. I'm sorry, what you're doing to me. No picture. Smile. Look at daddy. Babe, can you get a tissue? Yeah. There you go, girlfriend. Are you really gonna film me blowing my nose? Uh -huh. You could do whatever you want for your birthday, so it's my favorite part. I guess, yeah. Why do I keep saying, I guess? It's just weird. Okay. I gotta stop talking now. Really? Alright, Diva. How do you look? Fabulous. Dali, do you think it's fair to say you're like a little bit of a diva? Um, I don't know. Because I am a diva. I can't what I want. I do. They're cool. Are they new? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We went to the mall and we got some ice cream, cream with chocolate syrup. And then we went to Claire's. I got a wand and a tiara. Where's my tiara? Okay. My favorite thing about being her mom is watching her grow and like seeing just how different she is from everyone. Just seeing how she takes on every day and just learning from her as well. Mm -hmm. I can describe Adalia as a wild one. Yeah, stubborn, determined, driven, courageous, mm -hmm. crazy. I'm just making videos doing what I want to do. I can't talk, okay? Don't judge me, Bobby. I like Gabby, this is my favorite one. They say the rate that you could get bacteria is one in eight million, so it's pretty rare. We're brother and sister, and we both have bacteria. Hi, my name is Michiel. I'm 20 years old. Hi, my name is Amber. I'm 12 years old. I have Pretoria and my sister has Pretoria as well, so we're the siblings with Pretoria. Pregeria is an aging disease which causes the cells to malfunction, so that's why we stay very small. <laughs> we don't have a lot of hair. We have a lot of problems with our bones and stuff, just like old people. We can do uh, some stuff because we aren't strong enough. The impact on their life is they have to put a lot extra energy into it. They get physiotherapy every day. The diagnosis was not when Michiel was born. It was actually around eight months after he was born. He uh, went to a children's daycare center and that's uh, where one of the doctors saw the difference between Michiel and all the healthy ones. 
We always t thought about having two children. Well, when he was born, we questioned ourselves about uh, should we take a second child? It's uh, very unlikely to have two children with uh, Progeria. We knew that it happened before, but it was a twin, so it's the same cell. These are two different uh, children with eight years of difference. So we never thought about having a second child with Progeria. We always said, whatever happened, you can't turn back time. So you have to live with what has happened. So you have to continue, you have to look to the future. The aging goes eight to 10 times faster than the normal human beings. The life expectancy is 12 years old. I'm now 20, so I'm eight years past that. That's not something that's in my mind anymore. I'm not really thinking about it because I know Mikhail's very good and I'm pretty good also. We are taking medicines from America. They say the life expectancy is two years extra on the normal age. So that's a lot for someone with Pretoria. When I'm in public, a lot of people used to stare at me because they didn't know who I was and what Pretoria area was. I don't go co-karting like every week. I try to go once a month or something, but uh, it's quite physical. So after like 15 minutes, I get pain in my shoulder or my arms. So I try to go as much as I can and what's physically possible for me. There you are. And everything okay? Yes. Yeah? It's been a long time. Yeah. Go guarding, I really like the adrenaline. Just the speed, the driving. I like dancing, watching YouTube videos on my iPad, and being on social media on my phone. I like to dance, but I can't do it in dance classes, because then my hips and my knees hurt, so. We are each other's best support, because when Amber has a question about a preacher or anything, she can always come to me. When we have some hard times, those are the moments that Amber does really support me. I have a very big fan group. They look through the disease. They don't see the criteria part of me. They see me and my personality. <laughs> it's good to know that uh, my children have a lot of friends because I'm, I'm sure they're going to defend them and they're going to help them. So it gives me a good feeling. We go bowling together and go to parties together and stuff and I, I can always count on my friends. We have a really good understanding about the condition of him because we, as a group of friends, we talk a lot about it. He's 20 years old. I mean, not everybody with his disease is going to be 20. He knows that as well. We know that as well. So we're just going to make the most of it. I think both of them get very much support from each other. I'm very proud of both of my children. If I look uh, with the condition they have and the way they stand in life and the way they make the best out of life, I'm, I'm very proud. I think we can both say we're very proud. The oldest child ever, Pretoria, was 26, so I'm gonna try and beat that record. I want to try and reach 30, and then from now on we'll see. What I would like to say to other people is to 
that they have to enjoy their life as much as possible because even for them, life's too short. Uh, you just gotta make the most of it. I don't let Progeria define me. That's not who I am. I just happen to have this, which makes me special in a way. My name is Tiffany, and I'm 41 years old. Get in the zone with me. And I am a business owner. I was first diagnosed with progeria in my late 20s. Yoga helps me with many things. Um, it helps maintain a healthy immune system for me, which is very important. It's important for me to keep flexible so I can live my life and go about my day. I am approximately four feet, five inches tall. I'm losing my hair. Um, I do have aortic stenosis, but it's very mild with progeria, I have experienced tooth, not necessarily decay, I have resorption of the root, which basically means my roots are disintegrating and that causes me to have, to have them removed, so I don't have a lot of my own natural teeth anymore. And I weigh about 58 pounds. The fact that I am so little, some people in the world think that they can take advantage of me. I'll have my moment of sadness, but I bounce back from that. Uh, resilience is definitely a strength of mine. I love to dance, and I dance any chance I get. I love hanging out with my friends. I love to travel, I travel a lot. There's a lot of live music in Columbus and a lot of arts, and I love doing that. My brother Chad, he's no longer with us. He also had progeria, same as me, but he had it a lot worse. He broke his femur bone. He ended up losing his leg and he got an infection and then he died because his heart was so weak. So, but he was awesome and I miss him very much. When my brother died, it really it really opened my eyes to what the rest of my life was going to be like. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Nice to see you again. So I met Tiffany through her brother, Chad. Goodness, 10 years ago now? Or has it been a little bit longer? It's probably a little longer. Yes. <laughs> Since I've met Tiffany, things haven't changed dramatically. It seems to be taking good care of herself. Cool. So the samples we would have taken like from Chad, you know, yeah. we took the skin biopsy, we can grow them up in the lab, actually do that here. Tiffany's case is really rare, so rare actually that we wound up uh, asking Tiffany, Chad and family if we could write this up in a medical journal because this had never been described previously. So we're talking now down to one in 40 million, one in 50 million people, so incredibly rare. The nice thing about the skin bombs we took from Chad is that we could take those cells and grow them up in the lab and then keep the cells going forever. He lives on forever. So he lives forever. <laughs> That's awesome. For people of the typical progeria, unfortunately have a very short life. So many of them are dying in their teens, 12, 13. This is kind of the average that people talk about. I think it took so long for you and Chad to get diagnosed because you, you were so unique. I was always confused. And... I'm like, how does my mom not have it? But we got it from her. I'm like, she has to have it. She does. But when you take a look at her, hers seems so much milder 
compared to what you and Chad went through. And then my job is trying to keep you safe as best as I can with are there medications or anything else that we could do to slow down things. Mm -hmm. And keep myself active. I have two businesses at this time. I have a cleaning business and then I have a candle company called Recycle Karma. I take beer, wine, and liquor bottles and recycle them into candles. Basically what I do is I use soy wax and I melt it in my little melter here. I pour out the wax, put my scent in it. I usually blend some smells or some people order specific things. Basically just mix it up, pour it, and then I sell it and it looks like this. This was a beer and then somebody drank it and now it's candle and I recycle. And that's pretty much what I do with my candles. And I love it. And it turned it from a hobby into my little business. It's my retirement plan. Is that you? Do you see me opening the door? <laughs> What's that? Treats. Yeah, but that's for the... Oh, Mom, this is my place. First time I've been here. You like it? Looks like you. Really? Oh, yeah. So, Mom, when I went to Dr. McBride today and I was asking him about you and how I'm the oldest living person with it, you are actually the oldest living person with it because you have it. Did you realize that? No. I know I'm pretty old. Well... <laughs> I said, so my mom is the oldest living person with progeria. He goes, yeah. <laughs> so mom, high five, woo! Tiffany is very active, very um, fun loving. She may be tiny, but she's, she can do anything. Just ask her. When Tiff came along, we knew there was something wrong. Tiffany, jump to grab the, the cat. <laughs> she didn't have the, the nose. There was no defect that you could see. No. Not like some of the kids are born with it, you can tell. It was a shock. I had no idea. None of us did. No, she, she was very outgoing, personable, and why? Oh, I'm very proud of her. She's, you know, living on her own, and she wants to do as much as she can on her own. And if she has any faults at all, she drives too fast. <laughs> <laughs> she could drive a NASCAR. I love you. I love you. I did. It's almost done. Have fun tonight. I have one bag left. Bye. Let me spring. her ability to get back up again. She has had some adversity in her life, but she has never let any of that get her down. She almost sees all that adversity in her life as a, I don't know, like an incentive to just go out, do better and be better. And that's who she really is. I have been positive pretty much all my life and I don't know where I get it from. I was born this way. I've learned to be comfortable with who I am. That helps me cope with being different when it comes to having a disease. I just live my life with a positive attitude. I get up every day happy. At 16 years old, you don't want to hear that you're aging faster, but being an adult, I like being different.
Progeria is a rare aging disorder. Kids that have it normally pass away by the time they're 10 to 15. I have a very moderate case, but I was told at a very early age that it would be a miracle if I would live to be 30 years old. So I am obviously doing well. 30-year-old Charlie is one of the oldest surviving people living with a very rare form of progeria. Her type of the condition was so unusual that it took doctors 16 years to formally diagnose her. At first they thought that it was a hole in the heart. That's when it started my whole life. From two years old until I was about 16, I got diagnosed. Non-stop doctors, non-stop poking and prodding. When I was born, huh? My, my teeth rotted out before they even came in, they were rotted. This picture, actually, my teeth are fake. I do have the features of someone that has progeria. And you can tell by looking at me, I don't look 30, I look older. As a kid, I got it a lot. And it's hard when you're 15 years old and people think you're 30. That was rough. But even when I was younger, people think I'm 21, I was only 18, could drink at an early age. It was funny, it came in handy, <laughs> so. As a child with progeria, Charlie found herself the target for many bullies. I got teased so bad in middle school. But high school wasn't as bad. I had a very wide group of friends. I wouldn't say I was popular, but I wasn't, you know, not popular. It wasn't until Charlie left school that she met someone who she could really connect with. Tony and I met on a dating site. That's real life. Do you know you're too big to get up with? He does that every day. <laughs> I think I loved him the moment I met him. Tony is legally blind, and he and Charlie bonded immediately. She just seems like a regular person to me. I never realized anything different and she's really a very strong person, very independent and supports me more than anything. 18 months into their relationship, the pair decided to get married. My wedding day was perfect. It was everything I could dream of. Walking down the aisle and seeing Tony, I was so nervous, so nervous. But as soon as I got to him, I was like, this is it. My whole life's about to change. It was the happiest day of my life. She is a very positive person, and you have to be positive. You have to be positive with what she has gone through and is what gonna continue to go through because this world is very cruel and the world will not change for one person. So, this is my engagement iPad. Instead of a ring, this is what I asked for. You have to stay positive for yourself and she, she's like a bright light for other people. All right, good boy, good boy. Uh-oh, I think mom's going backwards. Makes people look to the bright side of what they've been dealt with. By being with Charlie, it changed my perspective on a lot of things. One in a million is the best way to describe her. As far as how long I'm going to live, no one knows. There is going to be a point where my life will be shortened. And I know that. And it took me a long time to come to terms with it. And it's actually easier to live with now that I'm happy. And I have somebody who loves me. If I could tell anybody one thing about progeria, it would be it's 
it's not always negative. If you can see the positive in it, you'll have a great life.